G'day friends, it's Kim from Kim's Homestead here in sunny Victoria and today I'm going to be showing you how to make spreadable butter. Very handy in the winter months when butter just will not spread. So here we have a little set of scales, a little jug, some butter and a big thing of vegetable oil. Now this is pretty simple. So first of all we tear out the scales to zero. We put our block of butter on there. That's 504 grams. Right. So what we'll do now is we'll put our jug on the scales, tear it out so it's to zero, there we go, and we shall pour in 504 grams of vegetable oil. little too much. Here we go, 504 grams of oil. Now, all I have to do is put it in the mixer. Right, so into the mixer the butter goes. You do have to make sure it's at room temperature so that it will um, mix. And in goes a little bit of oil. And just put it on low. Now I'll probably have some oil left over because you do this by eye and it's depending on how soft you want your butter. Now I'm going to turn it up further. Right. Now I'll just wipe down the sides. Whoops. 
sorry guys. Perch isn't very good, that's why I was hanging on to you. And here is what we're left with, which is basically whipped butter. And what I will do now is, so what I'll do now is just start packaging it up. I'm going to be using old um, soft spreadable butter containers and then pop it into the freezer so I know basically what it is. What I have left of the oil is a reasonable amount still. So I was going off an old recipe of one to one but obviously it's not going to work that way otherwise it would be like really 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 runny and that's not what I'm after so be careful when you put yours in put it into the consistency that you like and if you do it at a slow rate you'll get an idea of how runny it's going to be there we go I'll wash that up later. Right, one empty container. Now you just use this as normal butter for anything that you would normally use, whether it be cakes or sweets or sandwiches or whatever. This is really, really nice on pancakes because it melts fairly easily. got that nice whipped butter taste. Now once it's done, I can actually leave this in the fridge instead of out on the counters. And it will last quite some time. The excess just goes in the freezer. You pull it out and use it as needed. This would also be great with either herbs or uh, garlic for garlic bread or garlic butter for anything else especially some baked potatoes. Might even do that tonight actually. I've got those gristles that I cooked last night. I've got an extra two. I might do a baked potato with it and have some of this whipped butter. Sounds nice, doesn't it? With a little bit of garlic in it. Hmm. 
that sounds like a plan, eh? I've got some pumpkin in the vegetable crisper that needs to be used. So I'll have mashed pumpkin and baked potato and whipped butter. come up with any one of the thousand greens in the in the garden that needs to be picked and eaten to go with that. That sounds like a nice easy simple meal tonight. I'm all for simple at the moment. Less work. That just taps out the air that's underneath. And there we go. Done and dusted. Put the little one in the freezer. The big one I'll use up. That's about half to three quarters full. So not bad, so out of, let's see, out of 504 grams of um, butter, We've now got 757 grams of usable butter. So that's one way to make your butter stretch. And as Mrs V says, squeeze out that extra nickel. There we go. That's how you make the whip spreadable butter out of a normal hard butter block and get more in the process. All right, thank you very much guys. Sorry about that, there you go. <laughs> I'll catch you again later, bye.